All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem HaRachakudash, the honest being to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, who rule well, and taught us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings be unto you, hopeful, who like that the push not this word of thought, truth, and sincerity to all you alchemists, Shalom. I'm the Akira. I'm from the servants of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai Cam. Coming in with a quick hit, going into the book Romans, the third chapter, verse 19. All right, which it reads Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law. And who are under the law? Hey, the Israelites, man. All right, because look into the book of uh, Psalms, 147th chapter. It makes the mention in verse 19. Bear with me, Akim. All right, he showed this word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation. And if I'm mistaken, the table of nations, he got about 18 of them. So out of all those 18, the Lord's only dealing with the nation of Israel. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. They're referring to the heathen. Yeah, they don't know the Lord's judgment, man. Praise the Lord. Hey, because it wasn't given unto them. When you look into the book of Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, verse five, it makes the mention, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my power commanded me, that you should do so in the land where you go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. We shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. All right, but uh, going back to Romans, the third chapter, in verse 19 it says to say to them who are under the law yeah because we're still under the law all right keep in mind there's a new testament so all that be a session about how the laws are done away with after the how that that's all bull crap no the only things that were done away with were the sacrificial laws that's why you don't read about or see about you know people offering up a lamb without blemish or you know two doves a turtle you know things of that sort because the sacrificial laws are done away with all right it's three i was shy now so going on it says uh say it to them who are under the law that every mouth may be stopped and all the world world become guilty before Yahweh, which in the mistake in that world, that word world in the Greek goes back to the Greek word uh, cosmos, which means, uh, you know, really goes back to the word cosmos. But I'm going to say in the outline of biblical usage in the blue letter, it means uh, a set in order, a, a class. So, you know, like a school of fish, you know, that's the world of the, the marine, the marine world, you know, the marine life. You know, I was watching that one movie, uh, Her Her Hercules, if I'm mistaken, in one of those movies. And uh, one of the actors made a mention while, while in the movie he said the whole Roman, it's like the whole Greek world, the whole Greek world, while they were sailing to one of the islands. See, because, you know, a world really means, uh, you know, its own thing. That's not really referring to the whole, the, the whole planet Earth. It ain't referring to all the nations. You know, there's there's three different definitions of the word world in the Greek. You know, you got cosmos, you got ion, and you got, um, I forget that other word. But uh, they have all, they have all their own meanings. So this is really going to the Israelite world, if I'm mistaken. But going on, it says, uh, Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in this sight, for by the laws of knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of Yahweh without the law, without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of Yahweh, which is by Yahweh's shot. It's like you got some, you know, you got Jacob out there. But it goes on to say, even the righteousness of Yahweh, which is by faith of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and, to all, and upon all that believe, for there is no difference. For all that have sinned and come short of the glory of Yahweh. All right, all have sinned and come short of the glory of Yahweh. All right, because... uh. So like going on, it says, uh, being, justif just, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in the you know, Yahweh Shai. All right, Khan. And so like he got dumbass shake right there, but this is the book of Isaiah, the 64th chapter, verse 6, it makes the mention. Uh, bear with me. In verse 6, but we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags, and we... All do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities that the wind have taken us away. All right, because no matter no matter uh, how how hard we keep the law, it would never be able to be one hundred percent, you know, perfect, man. All right, it will all gonna go off eventually. 
That was in the book of James, the second chapter, verse 10. And it reads... Um, verse 10, for whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend at one point, he is guilty of all. All right, he is guilty of all. So no matter what, you know, you, if you break one law, you're gonna you basically breaking all. You know, so you know, regardless, you you, you know of, of how 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 you know, can you try to keep the law? You're gonna you you, you it's not gonna be good enough, basically. For he that said, do not commit adultery, said also do not kill. Now, if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor of the law. All right, so if you break one law, you break all. So going back to Isaiah 64, chapter verse 6, you know, we're always an unclean thing. And also look at the book of Job. Book, book of Job, and uh, you know, you, it, it brings up the point, uh, can man be clean? And the answer is no. All right, you know, uh, I was speaking to one of the brothers, you know, when I was first coming to this thing, and I was telling him how, you know, it, it was, it was, uh, you know, I was basically upset for, uh, you know, not breaking the law. When I was doing this thing, and the Aki said uh, that, you know, we're, we're all unclean. So, like, I'm getting distracted right now. You know, Jake just, Jake. But anyways, look at Job, the... Bro with me, Akim. All right, Job, the 15th chapter, verse 14, it reads, What is man that he should be clean? And he which is born of a woman that he should be righteous. Yeah, because, you know, we are, we are, when we come out of the out of the womb, we're all in this flesh, man, which is this flesh. It's bound to go off, man. All right, if I'm mistaken, the book of Judah, the... The... Um, verse... The sixth verse it says, and the angels which came out their first estate, but left their own habitation, yet they have to reserve them to everlasting chains and darkness to the judgment of the great day. You know, these everlasting chains made this flesh. So you know we're we're bound to go off, man. There's nothing else we can do about it. All we all we all we got now is the hope in Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. You know, so going with that, you know, say 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 even if you could keep the law, you know, the, the Lord's not gonna deliver you. And why? Because uh you know, it's not it's not of the law. It's, it's through faith, and, and not just by faith itself, but but both men. All right, well, we know it's through it's through both. We gotta use slacky. Like bear with me. Slacky. Like Let me rephrase that. Can, ultimately, it's whom the Lord predestinated. But within that, you know, the Lord's gonna put the spirit upon you know His elect upon His men who we predestinated to give the spirit upon them to be able to you know have that faith and continue to show the integrity. And keeping the works, man. All right, because uh, before I got that one piece, of that, I'm gonna go back to Romans, the third chapter, jumping down all the way to the bottom. It makes the mention, uh, verse 31. It says, "Do we then make void the law through faith?" And the answer is no. How forbid? Yea, we establish the law. We establish it, man. All right, because it was just there to make make us, you know, be, be, be acknowledge our, our our iniquities, man. But going back to uh, the priest that I want to get out, if I'm mistaken, it was in the book of James. James, uh, verse 26, it says, uh, Fresh a body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. All right, I came a body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. So you have to have a just balance. You know, that, you know, Poems says the book of Proverbs, eleventh chapter, and Lord will you hear me Akim. You know, uh Proverbs the eleventh chapter verse one it says a false balance is abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is a delight. But God go over shake him my yanya racha wath right wath shatamba shame bashma shai bashama racha kudashima. You know, just a quick, you know, curse but um upon Jake, but I just wanna let off right then to the Akim. I want to end it off right then to the next one, uh, I say should warm.